There are times in life when everything may change in an instant, even a tiny error can have far-reaching effects. What happened when a small boy accidentally fell into a cage full of ravenous gorillas was incredible. Bill held Alice back, sensing that placing her in danger wouldn't help. Even though Alice was frantically clutching her chest and wanting to run forward, the workers at the zoo had to move swiftly. But they were short on options. Bill and Alice's emotions were racing because their little boy was in grave danger against the massive gorillas in the enclosure, any of which could kill Jude in a matter of seconds. Jude felt small. When the danger increased during dinner time, they were frightened when their son got in the way of the enormous silverback gorilla and its food. Alice thought she might be about to see a tragedy play out in front of her eyes. Their ideal family day was quickly becoming their worst nightmare. Everyone appeared to freeze in tension, animals and humans alike, and then the gorillas started to move. Jude's parents used to frequently take him to the zoo, which he adored. These outings were enjoyable for Alice and Bill as well, as they recognized that the zoo's emphasis on rescuing animals taught their son an important lesson in animal care. The gorillas were Jude's favorite creatures, especially after one of the females had given birth recently. He cherished witnessing the infant interact and learning about each gorilla's life story. The newborn gorilla appeared to recognize Jude and establish a connection with her. A cute scene unfolded as the baby gorilla started playing with Jude. The mother gorilla sitting near the glass. Jude played around the tiny tree in front of the glass enclosure. With the baby gorilla joining them for a game of peekaboo. It was so cute. Jude's parents laughed at his insistence that the gorilla was a buddy. The fact that their son loved animals so much made them happy and made the day fun. After spending some time in the gorilla enclosure, they made the decision to check out the other areas of the zoo. Jude became excited when a zoo caretaker revealed when the gorillas will be fed when they were leaving. There was still plenty of time to see the remainder of the zoo. But he wanted to return and watch. They had a great day and if it hadn't turned into one of their scariest experiences, it would have been a wonderful day in one of their family's best. I hope this isn't the final day they spend together. At first, kids had a great time exploring the zoo and interacting with the different animals. It was a little unsettling to watch Jude stroke the head of a snake. But they didn't want him to become afraid of animals. They might regret not having given him a little warning later on. But just now they were enjoying themselves immensely. Before heading back, they stopped at the far end of the zoo for some ice cream. They made it back in time for lunch, and the cafe was close to the gorilla enclosure. Though Jude remained incredibly energetic, his parents were worn out. While watching Jude as he played about the picnic area, they sat down to relax and eat. But as many parents are aware, all it takes is a moment of distraction for anything to go wrong. And that was exactly what was going to happen. The gorillas were not far away. And Jude had been pleading to return there. But his parents wanted a little vacation. Jude didn't want to wait. But they knew when the gorillas would be fed and they intended to return then. He took off as soon as his parents' focus wavered. His parents quickly ascertained where he had disappeared after learning he was missing. They may have caught up to him in the observation area if they had taken immediate action. However, he didn't. Everything would soon change due to a serious error. A youthful inexperienced zookeeper was getting ready to transport the gorilla's sustenance to their designated place. They may drop food and snacks from a platform above the enclosure without having to go inside. The audience found it more interesting to see the gorillas being fed outside. Even though there was an interior feeding place as well. The learner had to carry a lot of veggies and some frozen treats for fun since the five gorillas in the enclosure ate a lot, requiring the trainee to make multiple visits to the platform. Arranging the food for lunch, she set it out on the platform. She had to secure the stairs going up to the platform and the gate to it each time she made a trip. She only needed to push it closed to lock it again after using her key card to open it as she went by. The technology is extremely user-friendly and secure. The young intern saw some children by her car, stealing some of the fruit. As she emerged, she screamed at them. 
slamming the gate shut with her hip when she hurried to correct them. The gate swung closed in her hurry. But it wasn't locked, it stopped just before it clicked. She turned the event into a teaching moment by giving the children some carrots to feed the park's bunnies after informing them that the food was intended for the gorillas. She was unaware that a second young child was coming up from behind. Jude noticed the open gate while traveling to the observation room. He became very curious and desired to take a closer look. Jude ascended the stairs to the platform above the gorilla enclosure without anyone noticing. He was staring at the gorillas, including the enormous silverback and the rest of the family. And he couldn't believe what he was seeing. Seeing his newborn gorilla pal again made him very happy. Then he saw that the food was piled high and prepared for serving. He could not stand by and watch the gorillas get their food. The gorillas were to be fed by him. He decided. Jude threw down a portion of the food and observed the rush of gorillas approaching it. All of them dodging the silverback. The other gorillas respected the silverback because they knew he could get very vicious when he was hungry. Because of the silverback's penchant for food aggression. The crew strategically placed food at opposite sides of the cage. Letting it graze at one pile while the rest of the family dined at the other. But Jude had not realized this. He just set down the meal and watched. The trainee came back and yelled at him when he peered to see if the gorillas were eating. He was shocked to peek back at her when he leaned forward to observe the animals and noticed her scream. He staggered and fell forward. She was horrified to see that the kid was jumping into the gorilla enclosure and onto the food pile. Alice and Bill observed that Jude had left the picnic area in the interim. They knew exactly where their lost youngster had gone. So they didn't panic right away. They intended to give Jude a severe talking to about the risks involved in going off on one's own. They talked about the need to help him realize the danger he might have put himself in while they strolled. As they passed the gate that led to the platform, they were unaware that Jude was already in serious danger. They rushed to the gorilla enclosure's glass viewing area, which was already packed with spectators hoping to see the feeding. It was difficult for Alice and Bill to see their son because the environment was so crowded. When they couldn't see him, they started to fear. But they told themselves he had to be there somewhere. The feeding started as normal, with the small children pressing forward to see the food being dropped into the enclosure. But it wouldn't take long to see that a horrible catastrophe was going to happen. This time, only a few parts were lowered at a time as the descent occurred very instantly. As the gorillas advanced to seize the fragments, terror hit. Alice and Bill heard gasps from the audience, along with a horrified shriek. They had turned abruptly and seen their own little kid fall into the gorilla enclosure while searching the crowd for their son. Bill restrained Alice when she cried out and attempted to bolt for the door. In order to maintain the viewing area peaceful and quiet and less stressful for the animals, the trainer swiftly summoned the entire personnel of the zoo, refusing to leave. Alice and Bill remained as near as they could to their son. They watched in terror, thinking that any moment now they would see him being torn apart. The audience was motionless and silent. Jude had fallen hard and laid still for some time. He remained seriously injured from the incident, and no one knew the full extent of his injuries. Then Jude got up, as if she was only exhausted, and seemed to get better. He was about to approach after spotting his friend, a baby gorilla. But the silverback suddenly appeared. When one of the workers realized the youngster was in the way of the silverback's food, they both whispered in alarm. He looked at the parents with guilt on his face, knowing that what he had said was inappropriate. When Alice asked for an explanation, the staff gave them a terrifying scenario that only increased their anxiety. The majority of the creatures that were brought into this zoo were those that had nowhere else to go were in difficult or horrible circumstances, and couldn't be returned to the wild. It was more of a sanctuary for creatures in need, including this family of gorillas. Even though it was dubbed a zoo, the entire family of gorillas was being kept in a tight, claustrophobic enclosure by a small, private zoo, which was the first thing the zoo was made aware of when an animal control officer visited this family-run facility. They found conditions that were much worse than they had expected. The private zoo was in appalling shape. 
the family brought in so many animals that they were overwhelmed. Even though at first they had the best of intentions. Wanting to take care of them. Among them were juvenile gorillas that were being trafficked by a criminal to be kept as pets. Even with their best efforts. Taking care of the creatures came at a very steep cost. As feeding the animals got harder. There was a drastic decrease in food supply until the animals were all famished. The gorilla family was kept in a tiny cage with no toys or stimulation. And they were malnourished. It was a bad situation. The silverback gorilla was particularly disturbed by the food shortage. He was hostile toward any other animals that came near his food. It was only because the other animals learned to avoid him that he never hurt them. The private zoo was eventually closed. And all of the animals were moved to places where they could receive the care they needed. This is how the family of gorillas came to be at the zoo. And the reason a gorilla that was violent toward food ended up with a little child in the way of him and his food. The young child had tumbled into a ravenous gorilla's enclosure. What occurred next was stunning. The gorilla started to lunge in the boy's direction. Jude appeared to recognize the threat as the gorilla lunged forward. Alice cried out, feeling more powerless than ever. Tears rolling down both her and Bill's faces. Jude didn't understand the warning signs the gorilla was sending out. Even though it hadn't attacked yet. The gorilla charged at him once more and he stood motionless. The mother of the newborn gorilla suddenly grabbed the boy by the back, scooped him up, and turned to avoid drawing the silverback's attention. Once Jude posed no threat to his meal, the silverback, whose only concern was food, lost interest in him. But there was still the question of what the mother gorilla would do if she thought Jude posed a risk to her unborn child. Would she defend him or hurt him? Tragic outcomes are still a possibility. Jude passed out in her arms, letting her carry him off. Then she took a seat next to her infant and started to groom them both, coddling Jude as though he were her own. The zookeepers were able to come up with a plan because of this amazing act. Jude was no longer in immediate danger when they used his favorite food to entice the silverback into the inner portion of the enclosure and then shut the gates behind him. After that, they used a new toy to divert the young gorilla's attention. Jude was left behind as his mother chased after him. The gorillas who were left carried on eating. Jude was securely rescued from the enclosure by a zookeeper, who then took him outside. They acknowledged that the situation might have turned tragically and that they might have lost both the youngster and a priceless animal. So they gave the mother gorilla additional treats as a thank you. When Alice and Bill finally saw their son again, they were overcome with grief and pleased that he was largely unscathed, save for a few scratches on his knees. Jude, on the other hand, laughed and told his parents about his playtime with his friend, viewing it as an adventure. Better security procedures were then put in place by the zoo, and Jude's parents promised never to allow him leave their sight. Although the trainee who had left the gate open had to look for a new job, Everyone was relieved that things worked out in the end. After watching the story above, do you have any thoughts? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. If you enjoyed our video, please like, subscribe, and share our channel. That all about today's story. See you next time.